Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars, welcome to another classic film review. Today's classic film review is for the 1990 crime thriller Internal Affairs, a film that is directed by Mike Figgis and it stars Richard Gere, Andy Garcia, Nancy Travis, Laurie Metcalf and William Baldwin. Now this film focuses on essentially two characters, two sides of a different coin if you like. You've got Richard Gere who is a beat cop um, he's a veteran he's got William Baldwin as a partner and he's essentially as crooked as they comes he's, he's into real estate I mean he's a dirty cop basically and we've got Andy Garcia who, ga who plays a guy called uh, Raymond who works for Internal Affairs and it is his job to uh, investigate supposed crooked cops and, he, and these two go head to head throughout this whole film it soon becomes clear to Andy Garcia's character and his partner, um, Amy, played by Laurie Metcalf, that Richard Gere is dirty and they are trying every trick in the book to try and get people to um, roll over on Richard Gere's character. And Richard Gere, for the most part, seems to be one step ahead of them each time um, and does some really, really despicable things to cover his own tracks, um, including murder. Um, so the film essentially focuses on these two characters uh, playing cat and mouse with each other throughout this whole film um, until its shocking conclusion. Right, what are my thoughts on internal affairs? Well, I haven't seen this film for a long, long time. I hadn't seen it for a long, long time. Uh, and it used to be one of those films I had many years ago on VHS and watched it quite regular. Um, I, I just think this is really quite a remarkable film. Um superbly made with top notch performances by every single person in this film who you would care to name I think this is arguably Andy Garcia's best film um, and arguably Richard Gere's best film um, and it's my understanding as well when researching this that Richard Gere names this as his favourite film uh, quite regularly. Which is interesting because also by researching this film I also found that himself and Andy Garcia genuinely did not get along in this film at all. And there's actually um, rumours that they have a scuffle. If you've seen the film there's a, there's a scene where uh, Richard Gere jumps Andy Garcia in a lift and beats the hell out of him um, and then leaves him uh, and there's rumours that you know that was on um, pretty much a real scuffle um, because they just disliked each other quite immensely while making this film which probably helped their performances because the characters hated each other in the film um, maybe um, Maybe, you know, they, it was a conscious decision on their parts to not, um, you know, get along on the film because it would help their character development. Who knows? Maybe that's something they would reveal in interviews these days. I'm not really sure. Um, but it, it, it's just one of those type thrillers that keeps you on the edge of your seat. And it's there's so many shocking moments in this film. Uh, you know, you've got you've got the scene with um, William Baldwin's wife, played by um, uh, Faye Grant from the V TV show, um, taking a phone call from her husband, played by William Baldwin, with him absolutely in bit, saying he's going to talk to Internal Affairs because he can't take the pressure anymore, while she is in bed with Richard Gere who is William Baldwin's partner and it's like you know there's there's scenes like that throughout this film where you know your your jaws like you know uh very very shocking scenes um but it also does the the relationship stuff brilliantly as well Nancy Travis who is immense in this film Nancy Travis I think is one of the most underrated actresses that has worked and she's bloody gorgeous too but she I, she gives a, a really fantastic performance in this film because she plays this the wife of Andy Garcia, very very strong independent woman who doesn't really take crap, um, and she can see she's losing her husband. So they do this whole relationship drama brilliantly, and they also intertwine you know um, this paranoia into an Andy Garcia's character because he thinks that she's having an affair with Richard Gere because he's Richard Gere is the master manipulator. 
and he makes Andy Garcia believe this um, so convincingly. It's brilliant. So you you get this relationship, st- and a lot of thing, a lot of films, especially these days, get that wrong when they go to the relationship stuff and the dr- and they and they dip the toes into the drama side of it. It's poorly written, and you don't buy it, uh, and there's no chemistry or whatever. There's loads of different reasons, but it just works here. Um, and Richard Gere's performance is pitch perfect because yes, he plays this horrific character who does some really despicable things, but there's still there's a little corner of that character that you still like there's a little bit of charm there there's a little bit of light in this character because he's he's got a lot i think he's got nine children or something like that in the film um and he loves his kids so that there is something about this character that it, it kind of keeps drawing you to him um but it, it's almost like walter white from breaking bad you know um you're very drawn to that character and, you, and you're constantly on his side for a lot of it I mean you're not really on Richard Gere's side in this film but it's not a direct comparison but then he, he finally crosses the line Walter White and you're kind of like right that's it for me I'm out I don't, I'm not, I don't like you anymore or it's a bit like that with Richard Gere's character here um, you just really see him as um, a, a corrupt cop and you kind of think, well, okay, he's, he's just trying to get by. He's trying to do the best for his family, I guess. This, that, and the other. And then he starts crossing these lines. And you're kind of like, right, I'm out, Richard. You've crossed the line now, mate. You need to go. You need. You need to go down. Um, and even the final confrontation between Richard Gere and Andy Garcia, when he's he's saying, you know, you don't understand. You don't have kids. You'll do anything for your kids when you have kids. And and you, you know, even right to the end, you can't, there's, there's this glimmer of something in the Richard Gere character that you're drawn to and connected to. It's just a great film. Really, really well constructed, superb film with fantastic performances, great writing, uh, and will keep you gripped to the end. Um, so it's a strong 9 out of 10 from me. Really, really glad I've caught up and rewatched this film. It's a few years since I saw it. Um, and it's definitely one I'm going to look to try and add to my collection. Uh, so thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you liked the review. Um, and of course, I'll be back, obviously, with more reviews and classic reviews on the channel very, very soon.